Well, here we are about a month into the new year and Arcade 1UP is being incredibly quiet. Now, as many of you may be aware, they decided to skip the Consumer Electronics Show CES this year. And that's something that in the past they have gone to before they've had space on the show floor to show things off. Last year, they actually had a hotel room where they were just showing off a couple of new items. But this year, they decided they weren't going to go at all. Now, that is because apparently they didn't have anything that they wanted to or were ready to show off for the beginning of the new year. And of course, this is leaving a lot of people wondering what's going on with them and when can we expect some new announcement. Now, for most people, myself included, uh, a new announcement would obviously be what's the next machine coming from them, especially if it's going to be some new IP. And again, while I, while I agree that that is something that we all want to hear, I'm also sitting here wondering what are they doing in terms of their existing cabs and updates and integration with that. And I'm going to get into that and explain what I'm talking about right after this. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscription button. Click the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I put up a new video. Give this one a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to be part of the conversation. So like I was alluding to, Arcade 1UP has obviously been very quiet. And of course, the big thing is everybody's wondering what's the next machine they're going to bring out. Will it be Robotron? Will we potentially get and Mortal Kombat uh, XL. And of course, everybody really, 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 really wants another Pac-Man machine. <laughs> but beyond that, and of course, if you assume that there has been no news because there is just nothing to say, that they don't have anything ready to go just yet in terms of new machines, what are they doing to support existing machines? Now, in the past, they have said that they would continue to support existing machines with updates. And several have been promised, but a lot of that has gone undelivered. The last big update that any machine got would be for Terminator 2. Back in October of last year, they sent an update out to T2 machines that made the pixel smoothing uh, feature an option instead of something that was always on. So if you are not a big fan of that pixel smoothing feature, something that I'm not a big fan of, I've seen it on my class of 81 and on Pac-Man machines, don't really like it. So to have the ability to turn that off is definitely a welcome addition. So I will give them credit for updating that. Now beyond that, they also made some updates to uh, some things on the Casino Cade, to the Atari 50th, but for me, uh, I would say those were kind of minor compared to the T2 one. Other things have been promised and not delivered. The biggest one being spectate mode for the Mortal Kombat machines. You've got Mortal Kombat Legacy machines out there. You've got the Mortal Kombat Deluxe, all of which have Wi-Fi and online support, but still no spectate mode. Now, supposedly there was also plans for some kind of Mortal Kombat tournament to happen at some point this year. We've yet to hear any news or announcement on when or if that's going to take place and will spectate mode be ready by the time they're ready to do that. So here we are waiting and wondering what's going to happen with that. Now, I you know, jokingly mentioned some potential machines that could come out, including maybe a Mortal Kombat XL. I still think that that is something that may be a possibility, if not this year, certainly within the next year or so as they continue to move and uh, update the XL line, maybe it's something they're waiting for on that. But I wouldn't think that that would need to wait for a new machine to come out when you've got existing machines out there that are online enabled and ready to play. So hopefully that's something that we will hear about. But my point being that at this stage right now, we're not hearing anything. Now, beyond that, a lot of other machines did get patches and updates uh, around the October, November timeframe, but none of those revolved around any new features or patches or fixes to those machines. What it was, was integration with their Arcade 1UP app. That's right. 
Arcade One Up has an app. I'm sure many of you either didn't know this exists or completely forgot about it, and that would be understandable. But I want to take a couple of minutes. I want to talk about the app and some of the integration that they've done and just speculate on what else they could potentially use this app for that they're not now. All right, so for those of you who didn't know that Arcade One Up had an app or haven't bothered to look at it in a while, this is what it looks like up here on my screen. Now, one of the things that Arcade One Up has done recently is add app integration directly from some of their machines into this Arcade One Up app. Now you can see that on the top here with this My Leaderboards section. And what this will do is for some of the games on some of the machines, this will show you your top score uh, based on how things are set up. Like you can see here, Ms. Pac-Man, my arcade top score is 22,900. I'm ranked 13,681. Yeah, not a great score, but it is what it is. Uh, they also have it based on any setting. So depending on how you have the machine set up, whether you have it in default settings for arcade mode or whether you've modified the settings, maybe putting on fast mode or whatever, there are different leaderboards depending on that. But you can see it directly in the app here. It's Ms. Pac-Man, we've got Dig Dug, we've got Rally X, so on and so forth. So the machines that have gotten this app uh, update are a lot of the newer deluxe machines like Class of 81, Pac-Man, Galaga, Ms. Pac-Man. Uh, they've also made updates to some older machines like Tron and NBA Jam. Now, this may also uh, apply to some of the last year's legacy machines that also had Wi-Fi, Ms. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. It may not be just the deluxes, but I know for sure the deluxe ones do have this app integration to it. So while this is a really cool feature and I kind of like it for the machines that do have it, some machines are noticeably missing and haven't gotten this app integration yet. Very noticeably, it seems like several Capcom related machines have not gotten it. Big Blue does not have any kind of app integration. Street Fighter does not have any kind of in uh, app integration, whether you're looking at last year's Legacies or this year's Deluxe. I happen to own the Street Fighter 2 Deluxe and there's no integration here. It would be nice to see my scores from games like Pro Gear or Final Fight on here the same way I can with these. Unfortunately, they haven't done that yet. Now, I don't know if there's something specific with those machines or um, whoever that they had, whether it was Code Mystic or somebody else, do the software for those machines. Maybe that's a holdup for it. I don't know. But if you're going to add this app integration to your machines, it would be nice to see it for all your Wi-Fi enabled machines. Now, another thing that is noticeably missing are some of the fighting games. Now, Mortal Kombat 2 Deluxe does have app integration, and I can see my high scores for games like Joust, Rampage, Bubbles, things like that. But for Mortal Kombat, I'm not seeing anything. Now, I don't play a lot online. Perhaps if I played online, I would see win and lose my personal win and lose streaks here. Not 100% sure. For those of you who have that, who like to play online, check out the app. Let me know if that is a thing or not. But you can see here, if I go to the game Mortal Kombat, there is a section for high scores, and you can see the highest scores on here from the people who play, whether they you know play online or whether they play locally, whatever their high scores are, the top people are listed here. Now, it would be nice to see my personal high scores here as well, regardless of how well I rank total in the leaderboard, just like the other games. As you can see here, this is Joust, also on the MK2 Deluxe, and my score is at the top of the list here, even though I'm ranked well below the top players. And you can see all the top players here. However, mine is at the top for me to view. It would be nice to get that for the other fighting games. I don't know why they didn't integrate that for a cab that already has app integration. Now, one last quick note in terms of the app is this news section down here, which is at the bottom of the home section on here. And you can see for a while, they were really doing a lot of updates to this. And then all of a sudden, come the end of November, that's pretty much stopped. The last news update we got were Black Friday sales on November 24th. Before that, there were some of these patch announcements that I've already talked about. But we have gotten nothing in over two months in terms of news. Now, 
don't know about you, but I actually subscribe to Arcade One Up's uh, newsletter, basically. On their website, you can go sign up and they will send you emails and whatever. And I get emails from them all the time on different sales or different things that are going on. Now, they recently sent out an email talking about the top five cabs of 2023. And while the list was dubious at best, it was something that I don't understand why, if you're sending out that as an email, why didn't you also promote it in the app here? That just is something that would make sense to me. If you're sending out an email trying to hype people up about the cabs that came out last year and which ones were, you know, their best sellers or, you know, whatever it was you wanted to highlight, why not put it in the app as well? So it makes me wonder, you know, have they kind of abandoned this app? Do they really plan on continuing to update it? We'll just have to wait and see. I And one last thing that I want to mention before I move off of talking about the app is another feature that I think would be great if they could add it here. And I think people would be much more interested in actually using the app if they did. And they've got a community section here where you can add friends to it. You can chat with them. You can look for people, all that kind of stuff. I'll be honest with you. I don't particularly use the chat feature or anything in this. I don't really see uh, that it's very worthwhile. However, maybe they should look to add some kind of voice integration to this. And the cabs, for the most part, do not have any kind of voice integration where if you're playing with somebody online, you can also talk to them as you're playing. Several cabs used to have uh, speaker ports on them, but I don't believe that they were uh, enabled for any kind of microphone or voice chat. And a lot of those have been removed, I think, because they had some kind of issue with them. So they just... People weren't very interested in them, so they just kind of removed that port altogether. But if they could add some kind of voice chat to this app, kind of like Nintendo does with their Nintendo Switch app, I think it would make it more interesting and more worthwhile for people. Now, I know a lot of people, they just call their friends and talk on the phone, or they use Discord or things like that. But I think it's a missed opportunity for Arcade One Up to not have it in here when they have an app available that they... I'm sure they would like people to use. So Arcane went up, see what you can do about that. You can add voice chat to here where you can connect with your friends and chat with them as you're playing the games. I think more people would be interested in actually using this app. So maybe some of you are watching this, you're thinking, you know, I don't really care about the app. It's dumb, I don't use it. Well, maybe that's because they don't have some of the features that I talked about. Maybe if they did, it would be more interesting to you. But beyond that, I know so many of you really just care about what's coming out next. When's the new machine? When's the new cab coming out? And unfortunately, it looks like ah, it's not going to be some great news, at least for a while. Uh, I did hear a couple of rumors and things f- coming out of Arcade One Up. And unfortunately, it looks like a lot of this year is going to be very similar to 2023. I think what we can expect is a lot of reskins again this year. I'm not saying there won't be anything new from them, but I think the majority of what they're going to do is try to reskin some of the IPs that they know sell well, you know, the Pac-Mans and things like that, and get them out there and just, you know, keep the money flowing in. You know, the problem sometimes is that they have to sell these to retailers more than they have to sell them to people like you and me and to get companies like Walmart and Best Buy on board with a machine, a game that they might not know very well is a hard sell. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that as time goes on. Now, what they're saying is that this year, while there might be a lot of reskins, they're hoping that next year will be better, that they can provide some more of those newer IPs. But again, we will have to just wait and see what happens. Now, beyond that, I also did hear a rumor that we can expect something new from them coming out very, very soon. But unfortunately, it's not something that's going to be arcade related. It's going to be some new type of product. And whether or not people get excited about it, well, we'll just have to see what it actually is. I don't know what it is yet, but it's something that supposedly they're planning on announcing soon. So we'll just have to keep an ear out for that. So unfortunately, that is what I've heard. Those are the rumors for what's coming on for this year. So I would say that Arcade One Up, it's going to be a little bit quiet in terms of news and things that most people are going to find very interesting. However, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing for the company. I think 
you know, if they can, you know, continue to sell things that sell well and build up their bank, maybe that means that they can invest in specialized machines like a Robotron, like a Qbert, things like that in the near future. We'll just have to wait and see, especially in the second half of the year, if anything changes. But at least for the beginning of this year, that's what it looks like it's going to be. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. What do you think about all this? I'd love to know your thoughts on you know, what machines have you been waiting to be update, updated because there's some issue with it that bothers you. Dragon's Lair, perhaps, and audio issues. What do you think? Do you actually use the app? Do you like it? Does it? Is it worthwhile for you? Like I said, I like the feature that I can go in and see my scores on it whenever I like, but I think it's underutilized. Let me know if you feel the same way. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that. Doesn't cost you anything, helps me out. And of course, ring that notification bell if you wanna be notified whenever one of these videos go up. I was gonna do it for this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a great day. Take care.